okay guys and welcome to today's video so in today's video we're going to be going over um, the fourth variation of the fair value gap so um, this particular kind of fair value gap is actually um, a rare form not um, the usual form actually you also see in price regularly so this particular fair value gap um, is the one I also pointed out I'm going to be talking about in this fourth series of the fair value gap so let's just go over the idea um, very quickly so let's just say this is what we have in price right here we have um, a fair value gap the bearish fair value gap right here and later on we see in price just coming above the um, high of this particular candle which is right here just right there and um, um, later on we see in price the price um, respects that level going downwards but later on we see price coming again for this particular fair value gap again you get so some of you could argue in your mind why is price actually reaching for this area again the answer is because of this particular area has an imbalance mind you in terms of liquidity the fair value gap falls under the imbalance so price will always want to come to rebalance areas of imbalance so whenever you see this kind of particular piece of price action you get around the fair value gap just know that what price came for back again was imbalance so this is the fourth variation of um identifying the fair value gap for entries so let's go over some of the examples i outlined on this um chart so right here on the dollar index you can see that this candle this candle and this candle created a fair value gap later on we saw this particular candle weaked above this high sending price downward for a moment but later on in price you can see that price came in back for this particular imbalance right here mind you this candle has stepped into the fair value gap but price had to come back again for what's for the imbalance so another example we can see is also right here in price and we have it one two and three these are fair value gap first of all price came into the fair value gap coming to the 50 percent range of the fair value gap rejected a little but price came back again to fill the imbalance completely so this is how to anticipate the fourth variation of the fair value gap so the next um um example we have right here is here we can see one two three on this fourth candle price came down into this what into this fair value gap and all of a sudden we saw price coming back again into that particular um imbalance created with um, when the fair value gap formed and i believe this should be the last example we have right here one two three price came again filling the fair value gap tapped into the fair value gap later on price came in filling the fair value gap completely so what is the idea to anticipate this particular um fair value gap this fourth variation if you notice throughout the examples whenever for price to be able to come back again into that particular imbalance you must watch the particular price move created by this first um, um this first um deep into that area of fair value gap or that area of liquidity like in this case price dipped in but the um expansion was very short it was short-lived you can see it right here it was very short-lived and later on price came into that particular piece to fill it completely and you can see the response on this particular candle so this could be a day trade for especially day traders we can know that okay all of a sudden it's keep on going um higher and that is a usual happening in the marketplace especially when you understand the overall tone of the marketplace institutional order flow but just see how price responded here so now let's look at another example here that actually fell in line with our institutional order flow you can see when price weaked into this particular fair value gap you see the expansion to the upside was very short-lived so whenever you see price after it has dipped into a fair value gap the expansion looks very shallow what you want to expect another deeper retracement into the imbalance created by that fair value gap i don't know if you understand it so this is the idea that you are going to have at the back of your mind why trading this fourth variation you can see the same thing right here uh, sorry you can see the same thing right here when price dipped into this particular fair value gap for the first time the uh, expansion was very shallow was not even significant at all but when price came in back you know what i'm saying though the over um the current institutional order flow was actually in a consolidating market the market condition was consolidating but 
you can see what price eventually did to the downside at this area though it took a lot of time but because of okay let's just assume the market condition was perfect you know what i'm saying what would have happened is that this particular um week into this imbalance will send price lower and you can find that it's only this particular high that was actually higher than this particular area you get so these are the this is the idea you need to have at the back of your mind why trading this false variation you want to see price just expand a little bit shallow then come back again then expanding with a great magnitude you get so but you want to be trading it within a context of understanding the market condition understanding the institutional order flow and definitely when you understand the overall tone of the marketplace then you will be able to see this move um uncover themselves clearly and very perfectly you can see how the move uncovered itself perfectly here you can see you have one two and three price weeks the first time the expansion was short-lived so what happened next price came back again into the fair value gap for the imbalance and you can see the expansion was mag was magnanimous whatever is uh, right for that word but you can see the how the expansion was very very great at the second weekend in so how to trade this particular pattern is first of all you want to see that first dip if that first dip into the fair value gap is not does not have a, a lot of magnitude behind that move then you want to wait for a second dip and that will happen anytime um very close to the time you actually entered the um you've actually saw the first dip into the fair value gap now even look at this area i did not outline right here see this particular area you can see how price um deep into this um fair value gap the first time the expansion to the upside was short-lived but when price dipped the second time what do you see you can see how the expansion was great to the upside so this is the idea you want to have while trading the fourth variation of the fair value gap i hope you find value in today's video thank you very much and see you in the next video